Good afternoon, Click community, and welcome back to wonderful Orlando, Florida. We are here coming towards the end of Click Connect. My name is Savannah Peterson, joined by my co-analysts, John Courier and Shelley Kramer. Thank you both for being Hello. here today. Awesome. And great, for great event. Right, yeah. I feel like it's flown by, too. Yeah. It's phenomenal, and they, they're hitting all the right notes. I mean, Click has put together the puzzle pieces um, yeah. With through acquisitions, they're obviously private equity held and are positioned. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm really kind of pleasantly surprised by how well it's going. Yeah, and the, the energy, the enthusiasm, the partners are excited, yeah. the customers are excited. I don't know that I've heard that many cheers in a keynote. I mean, there were people <laughs> actively whooping in, in, yeah. in the room, and I, and I thought I was just, I don't know, it's really interesting. You can tell that the people who work at Click really believe in the team and believe in the products and believe in some of the big announcements yeah. that they made. They made seven announcements today. They've got 185 meetings going on, two days of power pack sessions. There are over 2,100 people here, which is pretty exciting. Yeah. And I, I will say, it's just every customer story we've had on the desk yeah. has been really pleasant. We got to meet a bunch of people roving about and yeah, I've been, I've been impressed. So Shelly, we got your insights in the morning. What have you learned between that first session and now? Well, a couple of things, Savannah. One is that you can't fake culture. Amen to and that, Queen, yes. So I think that throughout the course of this event that we've seen that culture and a passion for customer service and a passion for data quality and excellence and all of that, it just, it just shines out, right? So you can't fake culture and it's clear that Click has an amazing culture. I think the other, the other um, reality here is that th there's not an easy button. Okay, and when we're talking about how to, how to accelerate AI adoption, you can't look for an easy button. It has to be, you know, there are five key steps that you have to take, and that is bringing all your data together from any source, any target, so data integration is key. The ability to trust your data is Imperative. fundamental, right? Yeah. You have to be able to explain, not just trust it inherently, but you have to explain where it came from and have quality control in place and understand governance and lineage. That's super important. You have to be able to provide access to that trusted data for everyone in the organization that needs it. Not everyone, but everyone who needs that data. And you have to have a comprehensive set of analytics, AI powered capabilities, you need to be able to do this on structured and unstructured data. This is really a whole new level of analytics that's involved and analytics embedded it inside is. business. And last but not least, you have to take action, you have to figure out what you're going to do and you have to automate everything you can automate. So I think that, you know, to me, understanding that this is not an easy lift, but what the team at Click has done mm -hmm. is again, 30 years in the business, right? This, they're no strangers to this, they're not a startup. So being able to work with Click and, and, and being able to take advantage of all of these capabilities and then the new announcements, the AWS Alliance, um, Click Answers yeah. and the Talent Cloud solution, I mean all of this is just, it's just the whole package. So it's hard not to be excited about it. Yeah, I think, I think you nailed it and I really love that you brought up the culture piece because that's been one of my really, clear takeaways. I mean, we do a lot of shows. This is what we do all the time. We're around communities, you know, passionate about yeah. the open source community, the developer community. I'm used to seeing people really engage, but to really see that same spirit we see sometimes in, in, in more consumer or more collaborative traditional communities in the enterprise space, it's just, yeah. it's kind of refreshing, it honestly. Is. It feels good. I'm sure they have a lot to be proud of. What about you, John? I know you've had some power packed yeah. panels. I was out roving, yeah. you've been sitting here. What, what's some of the stuff you learned today? Well, I think, I think you and Shelly just nailed the insights and some of the innovations uh, around some of the product announcements. So great analysis, Shelly. Uh, I agree with what you just said. I think the, obviously the key focus here is on the generative AI wave that's coming and how Click is prepared for it. Um, and to me, what the insights, if I peeled up back of the onion a little bit on some of the, uh, Shelley's points is that the culture here about these the executives, they've been in this for multiple decades. So yeah. this isn't like a Johnny come lately. Right. Hey, we're going to slap some generative AI on some products. They've been in the data business and if you're in the data business, we've been covering it 14 years in theCUBE uh, since our existence from our early days and the Hadoop days and you know, this industry's been grinding along and they're doing all the heavy lifting. It's been a kind of a plumbing model, get the databases right. Unstructured data is not a new thing, but it's now 
high volume. Right. So if you're in the data business, we've been grinding, okay, <laughs> inch by inch, get the first down, move the chains. Not a lot of movement moving the ball down the field, so to speak, as we say. So, but I think generative AI has brought a, a flashpoint uh, in the data geek world where everything comes together, right? It's a confluence of many things going on. Innovation in cloud scale technology, the on-premise GPU market, the custom silicon is going to power that next layer, which is now this data layer, which you see people's eyes get all big when they go, wow, the script has been flipped. So I think you're seeing a historic moment that just gets people that are data nerds really excited. And then the next level is confidence, and you're starting to see the products. The other thing that's notable with Click is the Kindy acquisition. Yeah. Okay, that was a cutting edge uh, tuck in. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan Walsh as well has been on theCUBE. We've been following that company. They were way ahead of the curve on data reasoning. They really were. They, yeah. were, they were in that class of the chat GPTs, but they did it with data, where chat GPT was both for a chat bot and a user experience. So Kindy was a nice little addition to the Click portfolio. They already had an opportunity, which we've been covering. They've been doing insights on data movement and, and the rest of the stuff that they had. So Click has assembled yeah. the piece parts. So if you look at that, that's now the foundation for generative AI, and, I, and I got, I'll come back down to a, a, a boring topic traditionally, but not anymore, data governance. Yeah. Data governance is the hottest thing because it's the most important requirement yeah. for data. If you want to let data be freely available, whether it's vertically integrated or horizontally scalable, you got to have governance, you got to know what it is, you got to be able to explain it. So that's the final thing, and then in summary, my, my personal takeaway is that the data business is look, looking a lot like the cloud native early days. Some of the same what conversations. What I was there. Observability, yeah. uh -huh. lift and shift, yeah. net new capabilities. So all the conversations we had about cloud native, yeah. born in the cloud, SaaS is coming back around to data. Data is code. They data were talking about chain. the developer experience on stage in there today, and yeah. I thought that made me smile, because we could have been at KubeCon or CloudNativeCon, or we're here. This means it's rocking and rolling in mm. data, and it's going to be fun. I think the application tsunami's coming, yeah. and uh, the Cambrian explosion of generative AI applications is going to be upon us, and once that's unleashed, when this infrastructure and this yeah. middle layer gets cleaned up a bit, through the, through the clicks of the world and the custom silicon, I think it's going to be a you know, generational look back, we're like, wow, five years ago. Yeah. Can you imagine? I agree. We did things that way. Yeah. And so yeah. I just think we're at the beginning of what we don't know yet, and the AI council that I interviewed, they're all working on really hardcore things, like the right to adjust my algorithm. Oh like, yeah. Like, who, who thinks of that? <laughs> they that's do, what, that's why you yes, have an AI That's what councils yeah, do, exactly. right? I but, mean, but, absolutely. But we would have never had that conversation yeah. 100%. Yeah. No, I think a couple that's years great. ago. I think the other thing, John, to play off of some of what you mentioned was that you know, we're seeing a major platform shift, and this is what Meredith Whalen of IDC spoke about in this morning's keynote, and she was saying that, I mean, we know this to be true, data will underpin every organization. This will be your new platform, and so you know, that data that will be input will be used to train your models, it will be it will be a business outcome, it will deliver business outcomes, it will drive innovation, and having access to quality data that's easy to use is going to be a massive differentiator moving forward. I don't yeah. think companies that don't will make it. I, I, I think don't beyond either. differentiator, I think that's going to be kind of that, yeah, it's a, a kind bit of, of a table cliff. Stakes. Yeah, it's absolutely going to well, be. Well, Savannah, your point, first of all, yes on the platform shift, yeah. AI is coming, we saw that with yeah. NVIDIA at GDC and every single event we've been to, but Savannah, you brought up the human aspect of it. The human supercomputer relationship is coming. Yeah. Whether you look at that as an AI system or not, the human experience mm -hmm. is going to have to be driving everything because the expectations of what we're going to be getting, even how to use things in the future, can't be generated until you nail the experience. So experience has turned into expectations, expectations keep raising the bar. So I think we haven't hit that flywheel yet. So what I'm watching right now is, what do people do with this new capability? And we don't know yet, so know. I think, and people don't know. What do I do? Uh, and we had the panel on an AI council, and said, hey, what about the future? We can own our own data. And you know what um, she said, um, Kathy said to me? She said, we wouldn't know what to do with it if we had it. <laughs> and she, I'm like, you know what, you got a good point. Yeah. What no, I, I think, I think what she's do absolutely I, right. What do I do with it? So I think we're going to have this first generational kind of problem set opportunity, where it's like, okay, if you want your own, your own data, or gen what is, what do you do with it? Is there right. a system around it? So I think we're going to have a, uh, a really interesting time, Savannah, 
uh, around you know, that human aspect that you're always kind of looking at. I think that's mm -hmm. a really important area because it's like, Agree. Yeah. human in a loop, what does that mean? Like, they're going to be in the loop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and, and what, what can we do if we didn't have to spend time doing some of that other stuff? I mean, I, I think we're truly, to both your points, we're starting to think differently and yeah. not to be an Apple ad, but there's, <laughs> there's, there's definitely a, a shift in, you know, like we were, we were just talking with Brendan and he was talking about his kids. He's got a 17 year old and a 22 year old and they know, as he said, his kids are the best judge of his keynote that, that he could have had because they know as much, if not more than some of the folks in this room. And I think that's actually incredibly accurate. So I'm yeah. kind of, I'm curious, we're, we're starting to see this. Yeah, we've been talking about it all year, especially started talking about it at, at doing SuperCloud 5 in December and then in January at CES. This is a year of making AI real, making some yeah. of this translate. And I felt like in the beginning of the year, it was still just really exciting smoke and mirrors, but not quite real yet. And I think here now in the middle of the year, we're starting to, we're starting to get somewhere. Yeah, and I think that, which is exciting. We'll, see, we'll see if clicks numbers will click up, if so to speak. <laughs> Well, I mean, this is going to be the so, yeah. what, we, we, what the scoreboard will tell. Will answers yeah. really connect with the customers? Um, will they adopt it? They have high retention rates. Savannah, you pointed that earlier. Ninety-three segment. percent, huge. Man. That customer. is massive. That's why people are cheering yeah. in the keynote. So, yeah, like, yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> serious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously. <laughs> yeah, when Miranda told me that, I was, I was, I was very impressed. And that's those are numbers that any company every successful, wants to have. every successful business. Bill Ty, one of our good friends on the queue, always says he's a very seasoned venture capitalist. Says every successful company has a cult following. Yeah. And they do mm -hmm. have a cult following the click because they provide value. We saw Harmon glowing review. On, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better testimonial. And he was authentically sharing his story. Yeah. And oh, they yeah. They got great customers. The so, Harmon guy. Right. I want to hire him to say yes to everything <laughs> I do. His energy was just, yay, I'm so excited to be here. And it's contagious. I mean, it really, in the best way, in the best way. It's, it's, it's so nice to be in a place where people are excited, customers are excited, Absolutely. people are satisfied, and they're still innovating. This is, it, it's nice to see that, that Click is making those acquisitions, rolling out Gen AI products in six months. It's, it's happening, it's happening quick. So I got to ask you, what's the swag situation? And we're going to do a little mini <laughs> swag situation, which is fun, because we are a little pressed for time at this particular show. So, all right, as you all know, I'm always looking for the most interesting swag on the floor so you can see what it's like to be here. And I'm also trying to reward those companies that get a little more creative than the others. So, so this is one that I haven't actually seen before. This is a hot or cold yeah. pack. So it's also just house. been kind of soothing to play with in the bag today. But I do, it, it matters that they're useful and they're not yeah. just, you know, tchotchke sitting on the desk that we're never going to touch again. You mentioned that, well, you both actually touched on the fact that, that Click's been around for three decades, it's mm -hmm. been around for 31 years. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that they did specifically was they brought out products that were popular in the 90s when they were founded. So first time I've ever gotten a Tamagotchi <laughs> on, the, on the show here, first swag, That's which awesome. is really fun. This was actually a crossword clue in my weekend's crossword uh, this weekend, and, and I'm excited to see when I was actually wondering what happened to them and where they all went. <laughs> On the same vein, they also have a, a little canister of slime. We all played with slime, made slime. I appreciate that these are the University of Washington Husky colors. Thanks for going there, Click. I wore your colors. It's nice of you to make the slime in my colors. That was great. <laughs> and then this one is actually adorable. Can't remember the last time I touched a cassette tape. But this um. isn't just any cassette tape. This is actually, albeit I remember how to open a cassette. This is a speaker. So. You can you can Bluetooth in it to your cassette, which feels very meta, full circle. Okay, that's darling. Yeah, it is darling. You might have to get yeah. one before. Did you I go ever? Go. Are you old enough to have had one of those? I did have one of these, and I did have a Walkman. <laughs> I actually had a mini disc player, if you okay. want to know. And a I spent, track tape. Yeah, I probably spent oh, yeah. two years filling up that mini. Yeah, mixtapes. They yes. were my life. Uh, we see a lot of cell phone accessories on the show floor, but not often. I haven't actually seen one of these before. Before I tell you what it is, do you have any guesses? Here, I'll set it on the ground. It is uh, to put your phone up. Yeah. It is. It's a phone bean bag. Yeah. yeah. So, so you just stick your phone right on there. I don't think I I've the, seen those. I think the phone has a, um, a mode where it says, I'm comfortable. You know, speaking um, of you know, emotional phones. Yeah, you know? I like it. AI. Hey. I mean, and yeah, it's, got AI, it's comfortable, like, it's a comfortable 92 degrees here in Orlando. Okay, now it's time in. for the piece de resistance yes, that well, I know you're excited about. Yes, well, quite quickly, before oh. we have another one I've never seen, Assure e services here did a dry bag. It's kind of fun, we're here in Florida. The, the Everglades are right there. We're near the beach if you go to the coast. And uh, kind of practical, to be really yeah, honest. Are very, I'm low-key dark horse in my book that's here. That's a dark yeah. horse. Dark yeah. horse. Yes. I agree. Yeah. That's very functional. Super functional. Always have it in the car. If you have a van and you're into van life, yeah. that could be a great. I know, it could be, it'd be 
can be in my van, and that's great. You know, if you if you took a swim in the pool, you want to throw your 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 wet clothes in there before yeah. you pack home and, and yeah. fly home. And of course, if it gets lost, you get the color. To yeah, fly and it's a nice size. You can easily get it. It falls home. off out of the boat. <laughs> so uh, yes, yeah, so, so the piece of resistance. I, I see it. Is uh, so this is something I've never seen before in in a conference center. Frankly, period. Probably full stop. And that is the very on brand green plaid click jammies. <laughs> so these are full on PJs. They want you to be embracing the future. Rest easy. In, in comfort and to rest assured with AI. <laughs> so better at night. Kind of a fun, kind of a fun activation from them with the jams. It was it was it was cute. I could when I when I noticed that they were PJs this morning over by the swag booth, I thought, "Huh, that's interesting. <laughs> we're going to have to learn a little bit more about that." And I will tell you their their activation to get these PJs is they have to run around the show floor and get buttons from every yeah. single booth. And I've seen a lot of people pretty hardcore about it. So, I would say that Click it's is certainly a, it's a worthy making their incentive. customers Comfortable. It's, it's awesome. And it is a unique piece. I mean, they're probably not going to have jammies every single year. Maybe they will. So if you're, you know, considering they have this cult following, yeah. if you're a part of the Click community that got your jammies at the 2024 that's, show. That's a designer option. Right? Very well done. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. is. No, it Very is really, well done. It is It's really like Viore well done. sweats. I feel like you need to be wearing those on your flight. Yeah, and, yeah, exactly. Uh, you I, know, and represent Because when we live on an airplane, it kind of feels yeah. appropriate to do yeah. that. So I got to ask you both, Shelly, I'm going to start with you. What's your fave of the trope today? Oh, definitely the pajamas. I mean, Shelly's here for I it. I had a bad experience once, quite honestly, with one of those dry bags. Oh no! When I was oh, on no. vacation, and so I could never. I hope that they can't trust it. They've been improved. Can't trust I that data be, anymore. I would be, yeah. But no, and I do like this little doohickey thing. I think that's cute. Mm -hmm. But the pajamas, they went it for me. Although this is very clever, and having it's been so certainly clever. old enough to have lived through <laughs> these times, I mean, seriously, who doesn't want that? Yeah, oh, it's good. I vote for the pajamas for the close second, the bag. I'm you're very gonna, into the bag. It's you're going to test high it. Quality, high quality, but it's, it's all very versatile. Yeah. Versatility goes with the bag, but the jammies, hands down, wins yeah. the pajamas. Yeah. Comfortable, you can wear them on a plane. John's going to wear them on the plane to New York. We're from California. We wear pajamas to school. <laughs> we wear my kids go, like, why are you wearing pajamas to school? They're not pajamas. It's the fashion. I go, all right, whatever. I know. You know go, whatever. <laughs> We're learning. We're constantly learning. It's, and it's pally green, too. There we go. It is. No, it's great. Click, click's got some great brand colors. I got to say, I think I like the little speaker, although I'm probably going to play with my Tamagotchi on the flight home. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Hopefully not to the irritation of the folks sitting next to me on the plane. This has been pretty sweet. I feel like Absolutely. we learned a lot. I feel like the swag is actually represent, representative of where we're at in terms of the, the, the quality of the show. The swag yeah. is actually really high it quality. Is. Our yeah. guests have been really it high quality. It puts some thought into it. Conversations have been super high quality. It's been, it's been absolutely fantastic. You know what else is quality? This production team back there. I just want to give you all a shout out for doing Yay. a fantastic job on the show. Also, shout out to Craig and Miranda on the Click team who have done an awesome job curating and pulling together all of our guests. We love working with you all. It's been awesome. Shelly, John, love working with both of you. And most importantly, I love hanging out and making sure that all of you feel smarter at the end of the day. We're here in Orlando, Florida. You are watching the very end of our programming for Click Connect. My name's Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news.